Hey everybody, Firelight Guitarist here. Um, I went and did a stupid thing and got myself stranded at Guitar Center. Um, long story short, came in to buy some replacement parts and some strings and I didn't bring enough money with me for the bus ride home. Find a good place to sit down with. Right here. Alright. So I've just been kind of chilling here. I've got another hour and 15 to go. Um, so I've been kind of playing around a little. Um, I'm digging this Schecter guitar that I'm looking at here. Uh, it's a uh, it's a Schecter 1141 Damien Elite Solo See Through Black. And uh, this is a nice coating on here. I, I do like the, uh, it's like a striped, I think it's maple, but I'm not sure, but um, I do like this finish, and I like this guitar, but um, actually I'm not sure what I don't like. <laughs> um, it is a nice guitar. Um, the only thing I haven't been able to is uh, uh, how far down I can tune it. Um, that's very important to me. I play a lot in B flat, and um, drop C, that kind of thing, and I have a friend who has a Les Paul that barely goes down to drop C, um, which is sad because he writes awesome metal, and it would, it would sound great in things like drop B flat, or if he could get himself a seven string, go down to like drop A or something, that'd be pretty sweet, but um, Yeah, so stuck at Guitar Center. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna start doing like a video a day kind of thing. Um, as some of you may know, I am moving, and I do have most of my gear packed up, including my camera. So I'm just gonna have to do them from my phone, much like I am now. Um, so the quality's gonna suck, I know, but. Um, I'm going to try to do a video a day um, and then upload them the following day. Um, kind of catalog my life and be a bit of a YouTube whore. So. I love that sound that reverb makes on, the, on like tube amps like this. A little mouse almost. That is, um, in our future which will be on my demo album, Now This Machine, for the Nature in Our Future. Um, I have Now and This Machine pretty well written. Um, now is kind of in the wrong tuning. I normally play it in B-flat, but in drop D it's like... into some other cool stuff I wrote. Um, this machine starts off, it's got like some clockwork sounds, some you know heavy machinery kind of thing. And then... usually has a harmonic on it, a really sweet harmonic, but, um, that one's volume, okay, um, but, um, you know, this, this guitar is totally new to me, and I have no idea where the harmonic points are, because I have them memorized on my ASM-1, there's like five of them past the neck, and I got them all down, but I'm not trying to brag, I'm just happy with myself. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so that's now and this machine, or the intros anyway. Um, in case you didn't make the link yet, the album name, now this machine for the nature and our future, is all the tracks combined. Well, actually it's the other way around. It's all the tracks or the album names split up. Um, I got the name from a Japanese pinball machine that a friend of mine owns. And on the front in bold white letters it says, now this machine for the nature in our future. We have no idea what it means. And Google doesn't come up with anything useful. Uh, I think it's something to do with recycling. That's just me. Um, but I like the way it sounded. So I'm going to take that and use it for my demo album title. Um, so I've got four tracks. I've got Now, This Machine, For the Nature, and In Our Future. Um, so, yeah. Now is... Uh, it doesn't really have any meaning to it. It's pretty much instrumental. Uh, this machine is instrumental and you know it's got heavy machinery kind of sounds to it. Um, uh, for the Nature um, I don't want to sound like a tree hugger, but that's pretty much what the song is, um, because I couldn't think of anything else to go with that title. Um, so it's going to be the sounds of a rainforest being cut down at the very beginning, um, just like this machine is clockwork and stuff. Um, for the nature is going to be the sounds of someone cutting down a rainforest. And then, I don't know where I'll go from there because I haven't written it yet. And in our future, um, that riff I just played a minute ago. Uh, get my pick. That and some other chord stuff. Um, I'm going to overlay some lead parts into that and that's going to have some sort of deep meaning if I ever get around to writing lyrics for it. Because, you know, it's in our future. I mean, it has to be deep. Um, but anyway, that's today's vlog, vlog, however I want to pronounce it. I'm just going to go with vlog. Um, see you guys around.